I want to share with you the top three exercises to do when you are getting back in shape or you're starting an exercise program. Now these can be done at home or at the gym. And the most important thing is that these are going to work major body parts. They're going to help boost your metabolism. They're going to help your strength increase quite quickly. They're also going to help your flexibility and of course help your posture and a whole slew of other things that we'll get into and talk about when we do each exercise. So the first exercise is the squat, which is just like sitting down in a chair. So you're going to just go ahead and lower your body, sticking your butt out. You're going to go ahead and keep the weight on the heels. You're going to push through those heels as you stand up. You're keeping your quadriceps tight on the way down. You're squeezing your butt and hamstrings on the way up. Now she's using dumbbells. So when you're using dumbbells, you're going to keep them right there by your side. So go ahead and turn to the side. So what you can see is that she's keeping her back what we call flat. There's a natural curve to it. That's the same curve you would have with good posture, which she gets at the top. So your squat is down as far as you can go that's comfortable. And then it's going to be all the way back up to the top. The heels stay down at all times. That's how you push through them to get more in the glutes. And the same thing, you can see the dumbbells just graze the side and up. When you're doing squats, you don't want to put the dumbbells in front and squat. And the reason why you don't want to do that is it's going to pull your upper body forward and put stress on your lower back. Now, first of all, you can see that it's quite awkward to begin with. It's still putting that back, lower back in a weird spot. Now, this is a lighter weight. If it was heavier, it would pull a lot more on that lower back, and that's not going to help us. It's just going to hurt. So we don't do the dumbbells that way. You keep them right here by the side. So the next major body part is your back. And how you're going to train that if you're at home and you don't have dumbbells is you're going to do what we call a scapular retraction. And you're going to have your arms 90 degrees like this. So go ahead and go 90. And then you're just going to pull your shoulder blades back. So she's going to take her elbows and push them back as far as she can, squeeze through the back, and then relax by bringing the arms forward. Mm -hmm. and then back. So you don't even have to bring them up this way. They can actually stay right there. Go back to squeeze. Come forward a little bit. Go back to squeeze. Now go ahead and turn this way. So you see it's just staying right here in that same plane. Squeeze back. Okay, and as she's doing that, she's also squeezing the belly button in. She's exhaling as she goes back. That way, not only can she squeeze the shoulder blades, but she can squeeze the stomach at the same time. And this is a great foundation to learn for training the back because right now there's no arms involved. And when we do back training, the arms tend to get too involved. So we want to make sure that we don't use them and that we pull truly just from the shoulder blades. And then you'll also see that as she's pulling back, she's keeping the shoulders down. So raise your shoulders up. Not doing that. She's keeping them down, nice long neck and always good posture. Now, if you have dumbbells at home, go ahead and grab the dumbbells, you can do a row. So it's the exact same motion. Now, we're not gonna do it front to back. We have to bend the knees and tip over so that we have the knees bent, we're hinging at the hips, and you're gonna pull that up towards the upper chest. So here, with the hands facing her body, she's getting across the upper back. If we were doing it straight up, it would be a completely different exercise. But think of it like rowing on a machine. The hands are light. It's a great thing to practice the scapula pulls, which is what we call those, before you do this. That way you get used to doing it without the arms. Now go ahead and turn sideways. So as you see, she starts in her perfect posture to set up, and then she bends the knees a little bit, hinges at the hips, and then does that row. So those elbows are going as high as she can bring them behind her to squeeze through the back, and she's not shrugging either. Every time she comes up, she's squeezing the shoulder blades and still pulling in the stomach so you can get those abdominals worked at the same time. Now go ahead and turn to the front. The second type of row is with the palms facing each other or a parallel grip. So the setup is the same. So go ahead, bend the knees, tip it over. Good. And then the arms are going to come in. The elbows are going to stay closer to the side. And this is going to get right along the middle of the back, so right on either side of the spine. Now, the one thing to avoid is squeezing the dumbbells, which tends to happen in this one. So you can actually take your thumbs and flip them over the top to have what's called a false grip. And that way, you're not going to squeeze as hard. You can really focus on those elbows coming back. And once again, you squeeze the back, you squeeze the stomach at the same time. Weight is on your heels. Now, you can also do this in a chair where you would bend over in the same position, but then you don't really have to worry about the feet as much. 
For the other large body part, the chest, it's gonna be a push-up or a plank. So with a push-up, go ahead and show us a push-up. She's gonna go all the way down, touch the chest to the floor and come up. Now that's gonna be hard for a lot of people. So what you're gonna do instead, especially if you're a beginner, is you're gonna go all the way down and stay there. So you're gonna start on the floor completely relaxed. Arms are gonna be by your side. Elbows are gonna kind of point in exactly like she has. There, you're perfect. And then you're gonna push up onto your knees, like a modified push up. And then you're gonna slowly lower yourself down as much as you can. And if you can't control it anymore, you just stop at the bottom and then you rest at the bottom and then you can push up again. So you can usually push yourself up once and then at least lower yourself slowly. You can rest at the bottom as long as you need and start with two of them if you want. Even when you're doing the modified push-ups, you wanna pull the stomach in. So yeah, there's a lot to think about. You're gonna control it on the way down. If you have to stop for a couple of seconds or whatever, or a minute, <laughs> that's fine. But you're also gonna push up, blow your air out, tighten that stomach. Your next level would be to take that same push-up, stay right there, and now straighten the legs. Perfect. So now here you can see this is also a plank, but it's also part of a push-up. With the plank, the stomach is tight. You're squeezing the stomach and low back together. The shoulders are back and they're stacked over the elbow and the wrist. If she goes all the way down slowly, lower yourself slowly. When you get to the bottom, stop and rest. So she's going as slow, that's super slow. So she's going as slowly as she can. No, that's perfect. She's gonna be controlling as much as she can. That's gonna work the chest, the arms, the core. So then she gets down there, she's probably gonna take a couple seconds to rest and then she's gonna do it again. So that means going up to the knees first then straightening her legs, holding that plank, which is also the beginning of a push-up, and then slowly lowering. This is doing the negative of the push-up. So you're still getting the chest worked. It's just that you're not making it do all the work of pushing you up. After several weeks of that, you should be able to do at least one push-up. And the main thing with push-ups is you don't want a worm. So it's not supposed to be a wave. Your body on the plank and on the push-up is straight, straight down, straight up. So what you're not going to do is go into your modified push-up, so regular modified push-up, and then stick your butt in the air like that. We don't want to, we have, everything's going to be flat. You're also not going to make it like a cobra in yoga. And then you kind of put your butt in the air, and then you kind of stick the butt even higher as you push a little bit. See, like that, that's not, no, that's not even, no. That is a no, 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 do not do that. Everything stays nice and flat. That's not a push-up either, okay? That's not allowed. And you will get stronger. You'll have to stop at the bottom a couple of times, but that's okay. That's how the progressions are, and you get stronger. The end.